Hey, sink peekers. I'm Molly, and I'm here at Fantastic Fest on the carpet of Ick. Let's take a look. What does it mean to you to see this film premiere here tonight? Um, it's actually quite special because this, you know, I, I grew up in Texas, and I moved to LA for 30 years to do music videos and commercials. And then I did a film here. This was shot last year in, you know, Texas area. And it's premiering in Texas now. And I'm super stoked to see, especially what a Texas audience thinks. I know it's more of a, you know, national thing, but there's going to be plenty of Texans here. And I think they might have a kick out of seeing, you know, Brenham, Texas and things like that. Very cool. I'm sure it's nice to return back to a familiar area. Um, and speaking of kind of talking about the actors, when you are working with a group of actors, how do you communicate with them to get a performance that you're looking for? I mean, a lot of it is just purely casting, you know, and you, you audition and they kind of do what they do. And my, my, my style of directing is not to necessarily tell them what to do but to, to help point them in directions for the tone of the script. But I love when they bring their own individuality to it, like when they bring their own ideas and their own inflections and, and when they're really, not really acting, but interacting with each other, I let the camera roll. Well, that's very cool to know. We were actually just talking about something similar in one of my film classes, so it's nice to hear that from a professional. Um, and one of my other questions is, this might seem kind of silly, but what gives you the ick? Otherwise, like what freaks you out or what kind of I guess makes you feel uncomfortable. Why is this the first time anyone asked me this? And like, and I premiered it at, in Toronto, and nobody asked me that at all. Look, well, I'm a parent, okay. So for me, the ick is uh, anything that could hurt my kids. You know, it could be. I mean, it's anything that remotely starts looking dangerous for my kid, whether it's a bug, a person, uh, like like uh, uh, water on the floor, like my, my, my five-year-old had like binders and she slipped and suddenly I had all these terrible ideas of what could happen if she slipped the wrong way. So anything dangerous to my kids gives me the total ache. Understandable. And lastly, since we are student filmmakers, what is some advice you would give to an aspiring filmmaker at any level? I, I think the, the most important thing is to find common stories. You know, it's one thing to tell your own personal story and that's very, very important. But at the same time, how does it relate to other people? You know, what, what makes you connect with another person, you know, instead of just, instead of, if you just say I, 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 you also need to say you at the same time to connect the two together. What drew you to this film? Uh, well, I played the role of Sophia, which I cannot give up too much about it, but uh, she's, uh, I have a uh, scenes with Superman, you know. <laughs> That's all I can say, but it was a very exciting film. Uh, well, stay tuned. So yeah, I play Sophia, that's my character. We're excited to see it. Um, what does it mean to you to see this film premiere here tonight? I came all the way from Miami, Florida. So yes, I mean, it's a very special film because uh, the whole uh, experience was very, um, productive and the whole cast was amazing and also it's kind of my, my first horror movie I'm making so yeah I done comedy drama but not horror so let's see let's see how it looks <laughs> I'm sure it'll be great um kind of piggybacking off the idea of horror films what gives you the ick or what makes you uncomfortable um, well okay rats uh, uh, spiders uh, of course I live in Miami so sharks Every time I go swim in the ocean, I'm like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> so mainly, yeah, charts, spiders, and snakes, and rats. That's it. I mean, me too. I totally get that. And my last question is, how did you prepare for this role going into it? If you can kind of talk about that. Um, I was preparing, I don't know, I was just, uh, because my role is kind of comedic. So I was trying to come up with ideas to be a little more funny for the character. So yeah, a lot of like uh, meditation, kind of like uh, fitting ideas out of my head, stuff like that. Just what drew you to this film? What drew me to this film is a couple things. The script, this guy, Joseph Kahn, the director, and um, the character of Hank, which is the script, but also it's different. Um, Hank Wallace is the character I play, a former uh, high school quarterback standout. He's going to be in the NFL, gets injured, career's over. He becomes a little depressed, doesn't really do much with his life until 20 years later. Meanwhile, there's an ick growing, this black parasitic something we don't know about, but it's harmless. Grows and grows until 20, 20 years later, it starts to animate. 
And also, Hank, by this time, has gotten his life together a little bit, becomes a school teacher, and realizes that maybe that one of his students um, is actually his daughter um, from his ex-high school girlfriend and a fling they had. So drama for that. Great father-daughter, fun relationship. Funny. Um, and uh, that's the roller coaster of a movie. Is there something specific that you look for in a script? Character journey. I want to, you know, find a way into the character. I can't play every character. I have I have a range of sorts, and I could play a character that, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger could play, but it wouldn't be Arnold. I couldn't. I wouldn't play at playing Arnold Schwarzenegger. I play at Brandon. Trying to. I don't know. Forget that metaphor. The point is, um, I I it has to be something that's in my wheels. I feel comfortable that I'm going to have a fun playing, and then, you know, the older I get, the more I. It's important for me that the story does something, means something. Sometimes it can be just entertainment. Um, sometimes that's just fine. Um, but, you know, stories have great power to do all kinds of things. And there's so many layers uh, everywhere in story, no matter if it's a horror story or a love story or a, an anim animation. You know, we, it's all important. And uh, this one was particularly fun to be a part of. Well, seeing that this movie is titled Ick, what gives you the ick? Or in other words, what makes you uncomfortable? Yeah. I don't like it when um, the, you know, the, the brush in the kitchen sink goes into the sink, the handle. Because I, you put soap down there and everything, but it's still, you just put, you know, maybe your, your, your chicken, uh, cleaned your chicken off and, you know, doesn't seem cleanly to me and it gives me a little bit of an ick so very reasonable totally get that and my last question is just what advice would you give aspiring filmmakers looking to break into the industry in any role i would say keep doing what you love sometimes the creative avenue that you're following may not lead you to be a graphic designer or to be the colorist or to be the anchor or whatever the thing is of chosen but because you're doing something that you love in that field in that community you may find another job that is even better for you where there, where you have even more skills so I don't know you know there's a lot of competition how can you be better than anybody else and everything in every way is always about how can you be more happy with uh, yourself and um, doing art helps us feel better about ourselves, so I would just encourage them to, you know, continue. It's not real actionable. No, but I mean, we'll take it. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Congratulations. Enjoy, enjoy your night. Oh, and also, schedules are important. I'm learning that as a, um, and they're hard to do, but I guarantee you, if you take the time to create some discipline in your life, which you probably have if you're in school, better than I did when I was in college. Uh, for one year, but um, <laughs> it really does pay dividends, even though it feels like structure stinks or is like annoying, but it's good. Anyway. What does it mean to you to see this premiere tonight? Uh, this is an incredible moment for us. I mean, this is both of our, right? Both of our first yeah. produced feature screenplays. Correct. Yeah. Um, uh, nine years ago, I was here with a bumper that I made for Fantastic Fest that was an exorcist spoof with little kids and now here I am with a big ass Joseph Kahn movie with Brandon Routh, you know, and it couldn't be, it couldn't be better. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, we've, we've spent our careers building to this moment, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Um, one thing we've been asking everybody, just trying to get an idea of what gives you the ick or in other words, what makes you uncomfortable? Intolerance makes me uncomfortable, you know, um, uh, and, you know, it swings a lot of different ways, I guess. But I think that closed mindedness makes me uh, uncomfortable. Yeah, that's about it. What about you? <laughs> well, well, I can't say intolerance now because you took that from me. Um, Mayonnaise makes me uncomfortable. Uh, also, I think it's gross and I, uh, I don't needles, like it. Needles make me very uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, I think I think without getting too political, what's happening in our country right now 
makes me very uncomfortable. There's certain uh, rumors being spread tearing, about tearing people groups apart. of people. Uh, people makes apart. me very uncomfortable. We're not about that. Yeah. We're all about peace and love <laughs> and shining a light into the darkness. Both great answers. Um, this is actually all of our first year voting in this election, so we're all excited. So it's great to hear that. Thank you, we're excited. Um, and my last question for you guys is, what do you hope audiences will take away from this film? What message? Um, I mean, the central message of Ick is that we spend way too much of our time um, focusing on the minutia, the things that don't matter, arguing about BS that's not important instead of focusing on the big problems that we as a society need to fix. That's what the ick represents. It's this thing that we need to deal with that we're refusing to deal with. And I hope that in some way, despite it being a hilarious horror movie, it can be sort of a call to action. You get what you give. And again, I'm gonna reiterate, shining the light into the darkness is what we, I think, want from everyone, and what I would recommend. If you liked that, make sure to click here for more of our fantastic best content. Bye, Speak Peekers.